Hi, this is Mighty CS Man. I have a complete Java programming course online, and it's using the Building Java Programs book. And the book has all of their problems, or most all the problems, in this Practice It website. If you go onto my channel and look at the week one orientation, you'll find a link on how to create your own account and be able to do these problems. So we're going to review self check 5.17 contains. So this problem is about using Booleans. So this code attempts to examine this string and figure out whether it contains this character. And it uses this Boolean flag. But it's not working. So let's try submitting and just see what happens first of all. OK, so the case is that it fails. Um, syntax x, what is different about, uh, oh, sorry, that's the case that it works. The case is that it fails here. Um, hello, L, that should have been there. Notice that what's different about this? The X is the last character. Hmm, think about that. Cartwheel, so C is the first character, it failed. P, P is in the middle. Meet boy, M, so if it's not in there, it's, it's, it's correctly detecting that. Banana C, it's correctly detecting these ones. So I think it has something to do with whether it's the last character or not. Now let's take a look at the code here. So Booleans are covered in chapter five of the book. And there's both using simple Booleans and I think which is much more interesting is figuring out how to use Booleans as flags that you can set at multiple places. We actually need a Boolean in order to do a um, blackjack assignment that I have coming up for my students. So let's take a look at this. So um, it's a simple loop. So from zero to the string length. So it's looking over each character. So that part's correct. And then if it finds that character, it sets found to true. If otherwise, if it doesn't find that character, it's, it sets it to false. And notice that it's going to do this for every character in the, in the string. So it's always setting true or false. So in that, that case down here, so for H, it set it for false. E set it for false. L set it for true. Okay, great. L set it for true. O set it for false. That's why it's returning false. Okay, so it's it's setting the value every single time. So what can we do to fix this? The problem, uh, at least in that first case, is that we keep on doing this found equals false afterwards. Uh, but let's think about the general case. So in the general case, you do want it to start with a Boolean being false. And then what you want to do is you want to just find the cases where it's true. Okay. So if it's false, uh, great. It, it, it never found, uh, it'll never execute this and that'll be the correct. The problem is that we're executing this last line here. So we can just delete these lines. Now it should work for us. Oh, I just got to get rid of, I mean, I got to uh, add in a brace. Okay, so that's the that's the the uh, fix. So let's review what we've got here. The reason I put this problem in is because I want to teach people how to use booleans. Okay, booleans are great. Um, if you just have a single test you're making, there's not a whole lot of point in using a boolean. But if you're testing the same expression multiple places, a boolean is great. In my case, for my uh, blackjack homework. There are multiple things that you're testing, and you need to have one place where you see if both of those things are true. That's why we use a Boolean. So at multiple places, you can set a Boolean, and then only in one place later do you actually evaluate whether you found either of those things. Okay, so that's not this problem, but I'm just saying in general, why are Booleans interesting? Okay, so if you found this useful, please like and subscribe. I do have an entire Building Java program uh, lectures for every chapter, as well as a lot of these problems.